Welcome back to the Monaco Yacht Show 2022. We are on board the Majesty 120 with Richard Morris from Australian Super Yachts. Richard, we caught up with you in Sydney at the boat show and now you're here on the other side of the world in Monaco. What is the benefit for Golfcraft to showcase their yachts here in Monaco? Well, apart from the Monaco Yacht Show being the greatest yacht show in the world, I mean, look, look at this. It gives an opportunity for Golfcraft to, to showcase their yachts on a very level playing field. Look at all the yachts around us. These are the best yachts in the world, and our yachts fit right in there, just as, just as good a quality as, as those. And the other thing for us, when we exhibit in Sydney, that's a great show in Sydney, but it occurs in the middle of the Mediterranean summer. So a lot of our clients are actually cruising on their super yachts over here. So by coming here in, in September to Monaco, we get an opportunity to meet up with our clients who couldn't make it to Sydney. What has been the response to this yacht so far? Well, it's, it's, it's mind blowing. And I just, before we filmed, I had a, one of my clients walk by and he came on board and he was blown away. He's coming back tomorrow. So uh, it's, he was very, very impressed. And he's a yacht owner. The yacht speaks for itself. It's quality, the equipment on board, the quality of construction and craftsmanship and the price point, you know, we are, we are very well positioned in this market. What are your expectations for the show? Do you think you're going to sell some yachts? I certainly think we will. Uh, as I said, we've had clients here already, more coming in the next few days. And, and this yacht, this Majesty 120, is as good as all the other European yachts right next to us. And it's just as fantastic looking, the craftsmanship, but our price point beats beats them by a mile and when our clients find that out our, our Australian clients they're very savvy you know and they they do like a, a bargain a deal you know value for money and uh, they will they'll see that this yacht represents all of those and so we're very confident that we'll make a few sales and obviously there's not the wait times of some of the other European yachts right no we have a huge workforce and uh, our supply chain is all, all sorted so that we can deliver a brand new 120 from order within 18 months from from now and you know that's, that's pretty good we, we're giving the European yachts a run for their money how important is it to Australian super yachts to be seen as an international brand well it's, it's crucial because our clients by being Australian and their, their, their wandering nature they're all over the world and we need to support them, we need to, we need to be everywhere that they are so that we can help them and assist them and, and, and that's why uh, you know, our genesis is from here, Monaco. I, was, I, I came here in 86 as, as a deckhand on the biggest super yacht in the world and, and here I am now sitting on a fabulous yacht in this show and it's just a, a great evolution in, in time. And so we want to help our clients and we'll go wherever they are. What are your predictions for the future of Golfcraft, both internationally and in Australia? Well, Golfcraft at the moment are the world's seventh most prolific super yacht builder by lineal meters in the world. And that's a, that's a pretty good sort of uh, uh, rank for, for the moment. But their market is now focused on Australia and the US. That's, what, that's the emerging markets for, for the brand. And in particular, Australia with Golfcraft's ability to produce commercial super yachts to Australian Maritime Safety Authority's domestic commercial vessel code. That is our point of difference. All the other yards say they can, but they actually haven't yet. And so we have, we've built three or four super yachts to the Australian Charter Code and, and no yard knows it better than Golfcraft. And Australian super yacht buyers understand the benefit of actually purchasing a commercial yacht. The tax reasons, the offsetting, the running costs, the advantages are, are huge. Richard, Golfcraft launches new models every year. What's next? Well, it's astounding. The company can produce a brand new off the plan model and they release it every year at the, at the Dubai show. Tonight, here at the Monaco show, they're going to be announcing the brand new Majesty 160. And it's unbelievable. Wait till that comes out. It's going to, it's going to be a huge hit. So when do we actually see it? Well, the, the, the model and the designs have just been released, or about to be released tonight, and so we should see the actual yacht in about a year and a half from now. Our designers are also uh, evolving and, and changing things, but I think they're doing it in a very tasteful way. And also they're, 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 they're concentrating on good seamanship, you know, and sea keeping. That's important. You know, the yacht needs to be able to handle very big waves and, and, and ocean crossings. And it's, uh, you, can, you need to remember that, you know, these yachts have to look good, but they also need to be good. And that's why I'm a master mariner. I, I know a, a lot about being at sea on ships and yachts and 
golf craft yachts are proper little ships. Thank you so much for speaking with us and I wish you a very successful show and I'm sure we'll see you again soon. We'll be back with more from the Monaco Yacht Show.